Okay, guys. Good morning once again. I want to thank you for your feedback, your emails, your comments. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today, I want to show you how you can keep your roadrunner mothers and their chicks in a nursery home. I want to show you my nursery home for my roadrunner chickens and their chicks. Guys, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Pass is my name, varsity lecturer, MBA coach, corporate trainer, and team building consultant. Very passionate about poultry farming. And today, I want to show you my nursery home for my nursery, I mean, for my roadrunner chickens. 2N Farms is your channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that every time you post, you'll be the first one to know. Today, I'm going to reply an email sent from the Republic of Tanzania, a good friend of mine who views 2N Farms sent me an email and said, I just want to increase my roadrunner chicks, but the numbers cannot increase because the eagles continue to snatch the chicks. What should I do? I'm going to show my friend from Tanzania my necessary home, my roadrunner necessary home. I will show you how I keep my new chicks and my roadrunner mothers and their chicks in their nursery home. Asante Sanamzi, come along. Okay guys, so today I want to show you how I'm keeping my roadrunner mothers. Okay, we call it the nursing home for the roadrunners. But before we do that, we must make sure that we dip our legs right here. So it's important that you put biosecurity, biosecurity against diseases, Newcastle, Gambro, you name them. So you need to make sure that you dip your legs. So your biosecurity area, you must make sure that the water is clean. Okay, it should not get too dirty, the biosecurity. If you look at, let me take you back. If you look at this biosecurity guys, you can see that it's clean. Eh? clean same story with this one it's clean biosecurity now it should not get too dirty if it gets too dirty it will not be very effective i'm not a veterinary doctor but i talk to veterinary doctors after all i do have a vet who visits my poultry house to advise me okay so here we are This is my first pot. Okay. Oh, guys, can you give me way, guys? Give me way, guys. Give me way, guys. Give me way, guys. Okay, give me way, guys. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is the gate to my nursing home for my roadrunner chickens. Okay. Remember my other chicken, the boys felt they can also free range. They are very strong birds. They are sturdy beds, very sturdy beds, these ones, okay? So here we are, this is the home for the road runner, the nesting home for the road runner chickens, guys. Can you see the compartments? I hope you can see from there. Okay, these are the compartments for my road runner chickens. These are nesting mothers, as you can see. The one you see there, she's very aggressive very very aggressive and so the first combatment she has yeah chicks okay she has a chicks here these are 10 chicks this one has got a lesser number it has got five okay some of them were killed by this one because they encroached into her combatment and so she quickly killed the chicks this one has got 12 chicks this one has got seven chicks. This nursing mother, she's new, this one. She's got about 13 chicks. Okay, and this one, she has got 12 chicks. Okay, she's also very aggressive. Then here, the last compartment, I'm expecting another bed in three days to come right here. 
so we'll be having another nursing mother with your chicks it, it's interesting guys i love it but one thing you can see guys that my housing can you see that this is a used mattress spring that's what i use to compartmentalize that's can you see that guys this is mattress spring like this one you can see here it's a mattress spring i just pick it from the roadside put it in my truck and i come here and i divide right here okay you just divide it right here then you create compartments for your chicken that way you are able to keep your chicks in a much better way you raise them when they are one month one and a half months you can now release them from the nursing home to go out okay but as for now they are free from eagles eagles are a problem guys and the other thing is that they are free from cats and um, you know rats can be a problem guys rats can be a problem they can easily kill these small chicks so you need to make sure that you protect them you keep them so the other day i will show you how i protect my housing against the cats if you look at it closely can you see this fence okay but i'll do another video regarding the fence but this is how i protect my chickens from cats okay so this is the nursing home for my road runner chickens and their chicks guys one thing that is interesting if i put feed in the feeders they don't want they will turn the feeder upside down if i put feed right here and i give them what they will do they scratch it they turn it upside down they want their chicks to you know to scratch to look for food for themselves so even if i throw food they will still scratch it's a training you know uh, experience so they want to teach their children or their chicks to look for food it, 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 it's, it's a it's a trait for scavenging you know looking for food so i put feed here they don't want they will turn it upside down so i just throw feed right there and they are happy they're excited i put this green so that the chicks will not come out the mothers can fly as you saw earlier on but it will not be aggressive as long as chicks are inside not a problem but the chicks will not come out because they should not encroach to the other compartment if they encroach the other mother will kill them you know so that is why as you can see i put this green demarcation okay they are happy this way they are very happy this way okay so this is it guys this is it this is it i'm excited about my you know by my new chicks and i think you can do the same you can actually multiply your chickens in a very easy way by taking care of them this way you give them water you give them feed um while they are here when they are one month you can release them you have got say around 100 beds like here i'm talking of 90 something uh beds so you can imagine in a few months time you'll be having so many road runner chickens okay if poverty is something that we can eliminate guys it's not about what our government can do it's what you can do for your government as long we do have the hands we must use them we must move away from this entitlement mentality which majority of us you know uh, struggle with so yeah i just wanted to show you how you can keep your road runner chicks and how you can take care of them when they are small you know using the space that you have remember as i told you that this is something that i pick from the junkyard you know you don't need to use a lot of money even this metal thing this corrugated i just picked it from somewhere and it's serving a purpose for me okay guys good morning